so America invaded Iraq on the grounds that they were liberating it, regardless of whether or not they had oil. But it's obvious that the only, well, one of the main reasons that they invaded it was for the oil. So in this case, was oil a curse or a blessing? Liberating a country. <laughs> It's the word liberation. What the, I, I don't know what liberation is, really. I have to see, yet to see what liberation is. Liberating the country, or is it liberating the oil? This is the question. I think the thing was liberating the oil rather than the country. But and what, if, what if the people benefited from it as well? I think your teammate disagrees with you there. The, the people are the sacrifice. Tim, Sacrifice you're, you're or the beneficiaries? And conquering here. That's very good of the British. I'm but glad. Please divide these two. At least something was liberated. Gentleman at the back. I would like to address this uh, question to Mr. Nawaf. You stated earlier that countries with the oil ha suffer mostly from illiteracy and high unemployment rates, especially the Gulf countries. Oh, okay. Um, well, no, actually, that's. Let me just give you a quick example because this is actually incorrect. I mean, in Egypt, the government does projects its projection on 6 million people being economically viable. Now, Egypt has a population of 70 million. The point is, no, I mean, the, what you're saying, I mean, with, with all due respect, I, I, you know, I, I don't mean to offend you, but you're actually wrong. The countries that have the, proportionally speaking, that have the largest amount of, of poverty and unemployment are the poor countries that have no oil. Egypt, Syria, uh, uh, Libya, which has a, some amount of oil. So, I mean, I could go into details, but no, that's actually incorrect. Yeah, but just a second. Illiteracy in the Gulf is below the rate, below 50%. You won't find like many Gulf people illiterate, I mean. Like, uh, it's the truth, you know? Like, if you look at other countries in the Middle East without oil, you might find them to be like much more lit literate, than, literate than people in the Gulf. That's only, you're, you're, you're only correct on Saudi Arabia, actually, unfortunately. If you, do, if, you, if you convert to the United Arab Emirates or to Kuwait or actually to Qatar today, no, actually, they, they rank way above the others because of their low, small population and oil wealth. So, gentlemen at the back. You're saying that uh, it's the bad management, not the oil that's the curse. But I would say, would you give a car to someone who couldn't drive? Wouldn't the car be the curse? If it's your, you wouldn't give a knife to the child, like how you like to say. You wouldn't give the knife to the child and you wouldn't give the car to someone who can't drive. That would be the curse. So it's a curse that the, for the oil that's come to some people who can't manage it, even if they are in this country. I'm not saying it to say against Arabs or people in the GCC, but for example, if someone in Malaysia or in Norway, they, they couldn't manage it properly, it would be a curse to them, the oil would be a curse. It wouldn't be their management. Now I forbid. So, manage, so management is the curse, is that what I understand? Is that your point? So management, or the people that have it? No, I'm not saying that the management is the curse, so I'm saying the, the oil will be actually be the curse. Ah, so the oil... If you gave it to yeah. somebody who couldn't use it, if you gave yeah. a car to somebody who couldn't drive, the car would be the curse. Uh, the car would be the curse? That's your point. The car would be curse. That would be the... Uh, that is my point. That would be the curse. Yeah. Wouldn't you say... You, you wouldn't say if they can't do it, it doesn't mean it's, the, it's a curse on them. It means what you're giving them is a curse. I think we are rehashing the same thing in different... I'm not trying to rehash <laughs> okay. anything. That's the point I'm but trying to nice, make. Nice. All right, we've come to the point in proceedings where we're going to take a vote on the motion. This House believes that oil has been more of a curse than a blessing for the Middle East. Would you please take the electronic voting machines? If you want to vote for the motion, please press button one, the yellow one. If you want to vote against it, button two, the red one. And would you please do that now? You only have to do it once. You don't have to keep Press holding the button because Press through to the magic of technology, it will record and register your vote. <laughs> and here we have the results coming up on the screen. 63.3% oh. 60, for the motion, 36.7% against. The motion has been resoundingly carried. Thank you. Congratulations to the winners, Thank my you. commiserations to the losers. <laughs> Thank you to the audience as well for participating. We will be back here next month. Please join us then. Please stay in touch with us on our website. We appreciate all your suggestions and ideas. Thank you very much for coming. Have a safe journey home. Good night. Thank you.